So if we do get a 2020 Canadian Premier League season, how would it all work? How would it all look? In this video, I'm going to be giving you two scenarios that I could see happen for the 2020 CPL season, so stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Curtis here and you're watching my channel, AFC Curtis, your home for all things Canadian Premier League content right here on YouTube. So if you're new here, maybe consider hitting that red subscribe button. So now the season, of course, is delayed. The whole start of the season is delayed. We still have to do really essentially four weeks now in training camp for these players before we even start the 2020 CPL season. If it does happen, let's just scenario here in a positive way. Let's just say we do get fans back. Let's say everything's cleaned up and good to go here. We get the old clear here in Canada and we can have a 2020 CPL season. Well, I got two scenarios that I've been kind of dreaming about and thinking about that I think can really work for the 2020 CPL season. Now the first scenario is an easy one, a shortened season. And so with this one, of course, I, first of all, I do like that new format that we have for 2020 or that we're supposed to have for 2020, where it's all eight teams, balanced schedule, top three make it and kind of be a battle each other for the chance to win the 2020 CPL championship. So I think we keep that format, we keep the games, we keep a balanced schedule. We can't really do 28 games at this point because we're looking at maybe a July maybe even August start for the CPL at best in a best case scenario here but in a shortened time frame let's just say October and September maybe have November a little bit here I think that we can maybe pull off and be able to jam pack, especially if we don't have Canadian championships, a short season, like a, maybe a 14 game season. Every team plays each other twice, one home, one away, uh, or if they're all playing at one neutral venue, it's just gonna be two times no matter regardless against the other opponent and the other team here. So in that case, you're gonna have 14 games mini season. Once that 14 games are done, most points finish first, second, third, and we play out that scenario, second versus third, maybe have that one a single game elimination, and the winner of that plays again in the finals against the first seed team there and maybe have that even to shorten up the amount of time maybe have that a single game elimination game because I mean that would be pretty cool if it is a single game elimination for the playoff and a single game elimination at the end of the season for the CPL finals can make it really interesting on TV and the dyma dynamic and all that of that CPL finals I think a shortened season sounds pretty good to me. Scenario two, a tournament. Now, of course, who doesn't love tournaments? I love tournaments. We all love playoffs. We all love those kind of first versus eighth all the way up this kind of bracket to the first place here. And I think a tournament would be kind of cool. And I think if maybe don't have a bracket right off the bat, especially, you know, I think if we do have a CPL season and let's say it's really only a month, let's say we only have the month of October or even, you know, the month of September or like late September to early to October to do this kind of season. I think a tournament format could work really well, especially if it's all in one neutral venue and we have to play out with just one venue, like some rumors might be suggesting right now over on CPL Reddit and the CPL community. A tournament for me would look something kind of similar to like a World Cup and in this case you can just perfectly divide you know have two groups two groups with four teams in each group and then they each play each other once maybe even twice in that group here and in that month period or even in a two two and a half three week period and after those amount of games the top two teams in each group will then qualify for the next round which will be like a playoff knockout stage and then the, you can have first versus second seed in each group here and the winner of those two, of the bat, playoff battle there can be a game, again a single game elimination there or even two-legged final and at the end of it the winner of each group will move on to have two final teams compete in the CPL finals which again could be two legs or even a single game elimination there which either way I think this is a pretty pretty interesting you know one one month you know, you can put it on TV, uh, kind of like a little World Cup here for just the Canadian Premier League teams. I think it could be interesting and fun, especially if we only really get one month for the CPL season in 2020. Well, guys, that was my video this week, and those are my two scenarios I can see us having for that 2020 CPL season. If we do get a 2020 CPL season, let me know what you want to see in possible scenarios that you have down in the comment section below. And of course, if you like this video, guys, definitely make sure you hit that like button, that thumbs up button. And of course, if you want to see more content just like this, definitely hit that red subscribe button, little bell notification, so you can get notified each and every week when I drop a brand new episode, just like this one. And of course, guys, you can also watch my content over at northernstarting11.com. You can find that link for that website down in the description below. Until next time, I'll catch you later.